Hi, this is Ms. Townsend and I love math. Welcome to Math with Townsend. We're looking at the Grade 9 Academic Analytic Geometry Summative. This is question number 8. So the question says that the standard form of an equation is ax plus by plus c equals 0. Well, we knew that already. And then it says describe the graph of a line when a equals 0, b does not equal 0, and c does not equal 0. So let's get some specific examples and try to figure out what this sort of graph would look like. So some examples, a has to be 0. So I know I have 0x. B can be anything I want except for 0. So let's say b is 2. And same thing with c, let's say it's 6. So there's one line that satisfies these rules. Um, now when I look at this, this is certainly something I could simplify. So 2y plus 6 equals 0. Hmm. 2y equals negative 6. y equals negative 3. That's sort of familiar looking, right? It's a line. It's a particular type of line. But let's not jump to any conclusions until we look at another specific example. So again, a has to be 0. b can be anything I want negative 99y. Sure. Uh, C can be anything I want. 1. Excellent. So I have the equation 0x minus 99y plus 1 equals 0. And again, this is certainly something I can simplify. So I would end up with y equals 1 over 99, whatever that is. So there's two equations, both of them following the parameters that were set out in the question, parameters meaning the rules, end up with an equation like y equals something. So think about that. An equation like this, y equals something, is an equation that we've studied. You should recognize that any equation that looks like this is a horizontal line. So this is a horizontal line at y equals negative 3. This is a horizontal line at 1 over 99. And in fact, every equation that looks like this with 0 for a, oops, something for b, and something for c will result in a horizontal line. And if you still don't believe me, Let's do the next level of math, which is let's actually not put, put specific numbers in. Let's just leave it with B and C. So 0A disappears. Oops, it's not a very good equal sign. Fix, fix, fix. That's why we do math in pencil, right? <laughs> OK, so there's my equation. And again, I can simplify it down into just a y equals equation. So there it is. It's a y equals equation. Negative b over c is the value of y. Now it is very important in this equation that one of the parameters said that b cannot equal 0. Because if b was allowed to be 0, I'd be dividing by 0, and that's not allowed. Now the other parameter that's important to talk about is that c cannot equal 0. And that's important for one particular reason. I can get, using different values of b and c, I can get any horizontal line I want. I can get this one, I can get this one, I can get this one, but there's one that I can never get. And that's the one where c is 0. I can never make this equation because I can never let c equal 0. So if you really want the best answer possible to this question, you would say something like this. Lines of the form 0x plus by plus c equals 0. And we'll remind the reader of these important restrictions are horizontal lines at 
y equals negative c over b. Excellent. Uh, let's add this. Note. y equals 0 is not possible. Well, this is terribly messy because I'm using some new tablet. But that's the right answer. So lines of the form 0x plus by plus c equals 0, where b and c are not able to be 0, are horizontal lines, and they exist at the point where y equals negative c over b. Note, y equals 0 is not possible. Sounds good to me. Let's look at part b of this question. So part b, again, reminds us what the standard form of an equation looks like, and then gives us some new parameters. This time it says b equals 0, c equals 0, and a can't be 0. OK, so let's again look at some specific examples. So let's start here. So a can't be 0. Well, I like the number 2 a lot. So I picked something else. But I've got to have 0 for b and 0 for c. So there's my basic equation. Simplifying this, oops, ignore that. Simplifying this, I get 2x equals 0. And that just becomes x equals 0. Oh, wow, the two kind of didn't really matter. Well, let's see if that's true. Let's do another specific example. So pick anything else you want for a. Uh, let's pick 2012. <laughs> so 2012 x plus, that's a plus sign. Boy, sometimes I miss my chalkboard. Plus 0y plus 0 equals 0. So again, that just becomes 2012x equals 0. Well, that just becomes x equals 0. So it didn't matter what I picked for a. No matter how fancy I tried to get, I ended up in both cases with x equals 0. And hopefully you can see no matter what number you pick for a, you're going to end up with x equals 0. And what is that? Well, we know what that is, right? Let's look at a graph. We know that any line that has an x only does not have a y-intercept. A line without a y-intercept must be a vertical line. And this line happens to be at y equals 0, so it's this line here, not this one. That was a boo-boo. So it's the line right here, right down the middle. In fact, let me make it even more pronounced. It's this line here. <laughs> that's the line x equals 0. And it's the only possible line you're ever going to get using these parameters. So how would you answer this question? Well, I would say um, lines of the form ax plus 0y plus 0 equals 0, where a is not 0, are all vertical lines at x equals 0. Now, one more nice little thing to mention. That's not just a vertical line. That's a very special line. It's actually, oh dear. That's actually, there we go, the y-axis. A vertical line at y equals 0 is a special line called the y-axis. So why not say that? That's it. All done.